Good morning, SHS, and welcome, welcome back. back. My name is Hallie Radford. I'm Jaden Gonzalez. And I'm Klein Chester. Today, uh, Jaden's going to lead us in our pledges, but first off, we're going to have a moment of silence. And now, Jaden with the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. All right, thank you, Jaden. And this week we had a four-day week, and next week, week we have a four-day week because of um, Good Friday and Easter Monday. So that means fun. a four-day weekend. Four-day weekend excited? this weekend. So and then we are through the end of the nine weeks, the third nine weeks. With that being said, it is now time for rankings. So ranks are pulled from the uh, completion of the third nine weeks. Any outstanding assignments dated from uh, the 24th of March. March, the close of the marking period. Or prior must be completed and turned in no later than today. So y'all get your stuff turned in. That means grades will be pulled when we get back from Easter break and no grades received after that time will be counted. So y'all get your stuff turned in today. That was actually like a really big grace period. Like it's literally about to be the seventh, the 24th. School's almost over guys. Just, just put in that work right now. Thanks to a late season front, temperatures will only reach the high 60s with a chance for some much needed rain. Easter Sunday looks to be dry and sunny near 80 degrees. Speaking of late, second semester attendance recovery is wrapping up and ends April 29th. If you do not complete all hours, you will attend summer school. As usual, you can complete your makeup in the morning in room 40 from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Monday through Friday and 3.45 to 4.20 p.m. Monday through Thursday afternoon. If you have any questions, please get with Ms. Calvon or Ms. Ash. Speaking of the summer, Sentin for Youth is accepting applications for summer employment. The Sentin for Youth camp will run six weeks from May 29th through July 7th. Staff will work eight hours a day, Monday through Friday. Sentin for Youth pays $10 an hour, and you can submit your applications at https www.sentinisd.net slash 4280211 underscore three underscore. Click on job openings and create an account. Application process will be opened April 3rd and closed at midnight, April 14th. If you have any difficulties logging on, please contact Veronica Sanchez at 361-364-6807. 10 bucks is low-key good for just dealing with some kids. For eight. That's $80 a day, times five. What's that? Some good money. 400. 80 times five is 400? That's 400 a week. What's eight times That's five? That's big racks. Sin High School Mixed Choir who performed at the Region 14 UIL concert in Sight Reading Evaluation hosted by Veterans Memorial High School in CCISD. <clears throat> For a second year in a row, they earned sweepstakes. Congratulations to Coach Garcia for being elected as the Color Times All South Texas Boys Basketball Coach of the Year. Why'd you say it like that? Coach Garcia. Coach Garcia. <laughs> Coach Garcia led the Pirates to their first district championship since 1999. In, this, in his third season as head coach, Sin advanced to the Class 4A Regional Quarterfinals for the first time since 2019. We caught up with Coach Garcia and we'll cut to that interview now. Hey, it's Jaden Gonzalez here with Coach Garcia, our recently awarded South Texas Coach of the Year. And I just want to know, Coach, what do you think? Um, There's definitely a a surprise. It's not something you expect. Uh, we had a good season. Um, I've got some good kids, and so I thought, you know, getting a call was going to be about one of them, and uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely shot, but it's nice. Okay. Speaking of the good season, what do you think? Uh, what do you think changed the season that made it so different for you? Um, it's just a combination of the, the last two years coming together. Um, we we had a plan, and we've had some kids that are, you know, slowly just kind of. We've been putting them in there, and we knew that if it wasn't this year, it's going to be next year for sure. We've got something special going on. So, so what are you looking forward to going into next season? Because your team was so young. We've, we lost one, and uh, we're bringing back, I think we finished with uh, 
12 all together. So we're back 11 with some experience that we haven't had. So um, it's going to be exciting. We're putting together our, our schedule for next year, and we've got some tough tournaments. We've got some some teams that um, that are bigger than us that that are you know 5A, 6A matchups. Um, you know, was it the, the saying "Iron sharpens iron"? So we're we're going at it a little differently, but it's 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 what we need. And what do you think you're going to try to change up going into this next year to make it a little deeper in the playoffs? Or? Uh, I think now that we have experience, it's just going to be about playing faster, uh, executing, um, you know, the offense and defense, and just you know, cleaning things up. And um, you know, this year we had a a little run where we were getting beat up a little bit, uh, just because of the inexperience and, and just you know, being in like a a meat grinder of a of a of a schedule. So going into next year, I'm hoping that, that we come out a little cleaner. You know, we know things. We're just ready to just execute. So like keep the intensity, but execute a little better. Execution and intensity higher, and I think, I think we're gonna I think it's gonna be fun. Definitely. With the with the fresh academic year and athletic year starting, do you have any advice for any incoming basketball prodigies or uh, just uh, get with me early and we get you set up, get shots up. Um, really, it's about playing. Uh, it's about being here in the summers, playing, getting getting in the gym, and uh, the more you play with with your teammates, the, the better off you're going to be once the season starts. It's really good. It's really good. Any other anything else? Uh, Congrats, coach. Thank you. That was good. Sydney Softball hosts West Oso Thursday, so I'll go watch that. It might get rained out, so it could possibly get pushed to Saturday. So let's hope that doesn't happen. And then Varsity Baseball hosts West Oso on Thursday. Both softball and baseball have moved, been moved to 5 o'clock. And if they both get canceled, then it would be a Saturday. So uh, you'll, you'll go watch that game tonight. Um, athletes entering the 7th, 9th, 11th, and 12th grades are required to have a physical in order to be in athletics. There will be free physicals on Saturday, April 29th at the high school gym. So that will get those physicals to play sports and just be in athletics in general. Join SCS prayer at the track on Tuesday, April 11th at 7.30 a.m. to pray over our track, tennis, and golf athletes. Now, we are doing a great job of keeping our doors closed and locked. Stay uh, vigilant and keep them locked. Vigilant. Big, word, big vigilant. words for highly. Vigilant. Now, okay, you now on to, it up. Now on to trivia. I said diligent. No, no, it's vigilant. On to vigilant. trivia. Hey. I'm doing the trivia today. <laughs> so the question is, what was the first soft drink in space? Coca-Cola. Dark pepper. You're, you're gross for saying that. Coca -Cola. It was Coca-Cola. Wow. Patience is the best remedy for every trouble. You can ask somebody to expand on that. Are you going to elaborate? I can expand on that. <laughs> so I think that Instead of trying to go around trouble, get frustrated with it, or allow it to boil under your skin, you should just be patient, let this pass, and work through it. Because the other two are just gonna make the problem even worse and go even deeper. Patience is a virtue, <laughs> and it's also a skill. So let's make sure we practice that and prepare ourselves for the future. Good elaborating, Jaden. And um, I'm stalling again because I'm making more paper airplanes for us to Okay, we're done. Here. And um, y'all have a happy Easter and a good four-day weekend. And um, go we Pirates. We look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Be yep. safe. Be safe. <laughs> <laughs>